Hey everybody, Josh Matacor here, owner of the Login Pacific Cyber Range, and I get this question quite a bit about uh, if I should get a bachelor's degree or if I should get a second bachelor's degree or something. I noticed we do like a, a weekly live and this, this question gets asked like almost every week, so I just thought I would make a video about it and kind of talk about uh, where I feel bachelor's degree lies in, in terms of like the tier of things that you should care about or more importantly that hiring managers care about. So I'll just get it right into it really quickly. Um, basically, this is just a tier list of things that hiring hiring managers. And when I say hiring manager, I just mean like an ATS or like an actual hiring manager or like HR or just somebody who's like considering you for a job. Basically, there's like things that you can do and things that you can have that are more important than others. And then these people look at those things, whether or not it's in terms of like your actual resume or your application or whatever, but it's just things that you can have that they care about. And this is kind of the hierarchy of things that will get you hired sooner rather than later. So basically like S tier is relevant experience. So for example, if you want to work, uh, if you're applying as like a, a senior SOC analyst, if you have like normal like mid-tier SOC analyst experience or just general SOC analyst experience that's kind of considered S tier because you were actively doing that role in another organization for some period of time. Another thing that's considered S tier would be like social network so for example the hiring manager or committee or whatever know somebody personally and that person personally recommended you. And if they trust that person, that's that's kind of considered an S tier thing, like S tier social network. And then A tier, when it comes to like considering whether or not you're going to be a good hire, really high end certification like CISSP, OSCP, the GAIAC certifications, or like super high end projects. Um, not like some random thing you did from YouTube, but like a super high-end thing so for example like uh, i built a cyber range right that has paying customers that's like a high-end project and then b tier in my opinion comes actual like formal education like bachelor's degrees and this is kind of what this video is about a lot of people asking like oh i have a bachelor's degree in management should i get another one in it or i have a bachelor's degree in it should i get one in cybersecurity specifically and generally speaking the the manager or the ats or like whatever they don't really care as long as you have a bachelor's degree and if you get another bachelor's degree or like a master's degree or something, it doesn't really help your case that much more than just having a normal bachelor's degree. And you might be thinking like, oh, but what if my bachelor's is from like MIT? Then MIT, your social network is like what you're paying for, like the whole reason to go to MIT. I'm sure there's like a really good education uh, like curriculum or whatever at MIT, but all, not all that stuff, but a lot of education stuff is basically free. And if you go to like one of those Ivy League universities, you're, you're getting like social network out of it more than you're getting like an education or like a thing on your resume that will convince people to hire you. You know, if you're considering to get another bachelor's degree or a bachelor's degree, et cetera, um, I consider the bachelor's degree B tier. And this, this has been my like personal experience, like how I've gotten jobs. Like the last few of my jobs have been through social network just because people either they know me or I did a good job at a previous job or something. And I remember like immediately when I got CISSP, immediately I started getting a lot of uh, requests for interview, like a lot. And I remember when I got my bachelor's degree, it, to be honest, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Um, it will make a difference, for example, if the candidate pool is mostly like B tier and below, right? If people like don't have experience and they don't have this stuff. If the whole candidate pool is B tier and below, that's when the bachelor's degree will start mattering more. This is not something probably that, you know, recruiters or like anyone really thinks about, but they'll pick from people who have like the highest tier stuff. So hiring managers, they're only gonna pick from like S tier, maybe A tier if they have to, or they're gonna look for S tier. And if they can't find like the relevant experience, they'll probably find some like, you know, average experience and then they'll probably they'll start looking for people who have like these credentials and if they don't have them then they'll probably start looking for people with like certain certain degrees and then below like a bachelor's degree comes to like those like really entry-level certifications like security plus and then google cybersecurity etc and then to be fair like recruiters probably don't even know what like google cybersecurity is to be honest but um yeah and it's debatable like maybe it's possible like you know security plus could come in it at B tier sometimes. It just depends on who the employer is. But generally speaking, this is the hierarchy of things. And then D tier, this is just like general customer support experience. So for example, if somebody's hiring from help desk and their candidate pool doesn't have experience, they don't have any high inserts, they don't have a degree, and like no one has like any like A plus or anything, then they'll start picking from people who have um, just general customer service experience, like especially for entry level IT. And this is why like, you might not know this, but I, I have a course for like entry level IT. And this is why like those people go through the course and they can get a job as soon as they can, because the barrier to enter for like entry level IT is like kind of low. And 
I put on their resume like a, a pretty pretty decent project. I wouldn't say it's like an A tier project, maybe like a B tier project or something. And then there's like the internship they can do as well, which kind of counts as like, I wouldn't say an internship is like S tier experience. Maybe it's like A tier experience or something because it's an internship. But, you know, entry level IT where it's really customer service heavy it's it's pretty easy to like get in like if you're if you're squared away enough if that makes sense and then f tier this is just like a high school diploma and then some unknown certificate so it's not like a high school diploma is stupid or bad or something like this it just doesn't convey as much uh higher ability as somebody who has actual customer service experience which doesn't convey as much higher ability as somebody who has like security plus for example and then you know this is debatable right uh, presume assuming it's like a relevant degree right and then same thing like high tier certifications and then experience so basically like another way to look at this is like if you only have a high school diploma the employers will stop caring about your diploma as soon as you get any kind of experience and as soon as you get like you know basic customer service experience the hiring manager might not really care about that is if you start like stacking relevant certifications if that makes sense like entry level certifications and depending on the job the employer might care less about your certifications if you have like a big relevant bachelor's degree and then the employer will care less about your bachelor's degree when you start having like CISSP, OSCP, like these kind of like high level certifications. And then the employer will care even less about certifi certifications when you have real like relevant real world experience or like a social, you know, someone, someone who they know who vouches for you, if that makes sense. So if you're thinking about getting another degree or a degree at all, just know that it kind of lies on this hierarchy. And I, I do think that it's good to get a degree if you can. Um, I think formal education, my, uh, what's the word? Not intuition, but my perception of it is that it's kind of on the, the downtrend, if you could say that, because people are realizing um, like decentralized education and even from like content creators, they make some good courses. Like I've bought probably like almost 10, maybe like eight or 10 courses from like other creators and like other, you know, individual entities that are not like colleges and that it has been really high impact and people are realizing that's the case now right you don't have to get a bachelor's degree to like you know whatever so it's like kind of on the downtrend but of course like colleges are not going to go away like next year or something so i think it's a good idea um, if you can use like wgu and study.com and then work your way towards a bachelor's that's really affordable it's not it's not a bad thing to do so i, I would recommend it but yeah education uh, i basically consider it b tier and there's there's better things that you can do especially considering how long it takes to get a degree and like how much money it takes it's like the most expensive uh like time intensive thing that you can kind of do on this tier list other than like building your social network because that kind of takes time too but hope that makes sense um but yeah if you're interested in getting cybersecurity, uh, check out the cyber range it's really decent uh, a lot of high quality learning on their hands-on you can get a lot of hands-on experience with enterprise security tools like tenable for vulnerability management we use azure sentinel for our sim a lot of threat hunting exercises and there's also a, a cyber internship as well um, if you want to consider that like s minus or a tier experience um, i'll put a link for that in the description uh, but yeah hope this made sense and we'll see you in the next video